Greetings, this is M squared, and today we're going to talk about um, how we tell if a function is discrete or continuous. The basic rule is if a, if a function is continuous, then you would be able to trace the whole function without picking up your pencil. So it's important to know what the function looks like. The graph makes that easier. Um, a discrete function is where you'd have to get from one spot on the graph to another part you'd have to lift up your pen and go over to the other one. So this is sometimes a set of points, and this is a graph that just goes on. It's really uh, a nice smooth curve or line. So how we tell that is most tables are continuous. I mean, are not continuous. They're discrete because it goes from negative 1 to 0, and you're missing negative 0.5, negative 0.3, all the millions of infinite numbers that are between negative 1 and 0, you're missing. So this is discrete. And if you were to graph that, you know, you'd have negative 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 2, 2, 0. To get from this point to that point, I have to lift up my pen. It doesn't go on a straight line. I mean, in a, in a line. So this is discrete. So in any table, see how I'm jumping from one to the next, is going to be discrete. It's easy to tell on the graph, because to get from this part, I have to jump up to that part. That's discrete. Whereas in this one, it's continuous. No matter where I am, I can just go from any place on the graph to any other place on the graph, and I never lift up my pen, so that one is continuous. And again, this is just a bunch of ordered pairs. This is a relation. I, to get from here to here, I have to lift up my pen, so that's discrete. When you get to equations, it's important to know what that is. This is a linear equation. It's a line. Anywhere on there I can get, if I just follow that line, it's continuous. I don't have to jump from one part to the other. So that's continuous. This is a parabola. So to get from anywhere on one part to the next, it's continuous. If you weren't sure what these were, then you probably want to get a graphing calculator. But my recommendation is that you memorize. Anytime you have an x, you're going to have a linear equation, a line. Anytime you have an x squared, and that's your highest exponent, you're going to have a parabola, unless there's some weird stuff in there. But usually, if it's just an x squared and an x, you're good. Okay, so this is just a set of points again. So we don't even have to worry about that one. It's discrete. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You just have to remember the vocabulary. Discrete means you can't get from one place to the other without lifting up your pen. Continuous means you can. Good luck. M squared signing out.